summaries. I have just finished our comprehensive exam and our full mouth periodontal charting and it indicates that you have generalized chronic severe periodontitis with localized chronic moderate periodontitis. Your probing depths are mostly 5 to 7 millimeters with a few areas that are 3 to 4 millimeters. Most um, areas are showing bleeding on probing with a few areas of exudate. When measuring your gingival margin, I found recession of two to three millimeters, which gives you a generalized clinical attachment loss of five to, or excuse me, seven to 10 millimeters. I suspected this when I saw your radiographs that revealed moderate bone resorption on your maxillary and mandibular alveolar bone. The crestal bone and interproximal bone also show this resorption. So what that means is you have periodontal disease. It's inflammation of your gingival tissues, which leads to breakdown of the periodontal ligament, osseous structure, and soft tissue attachment to your teeth. This forms a diseased pocket, and also what happens is the cascade response of the inflammatory process. It has prostaglandins, cytokines, matrix metal proteinases, and it begins to break down your periodontal attachment structures. So this is why you may have noticed um, some erythema and edema in your mouth. So with this diagnosis, I'm recommending four quadrant scaling and root planing. This is a non-surgical periodontal treatment where we use ultrasonic instrumentation as well as periodontal instrumentation. With um, special instruments we call Gracie's, um, 1112 and a 1314 we really like to use, and also our Barnhart Universal instrumentation. We will, we will do that. So the goal of the treatment is to deprive your root surface of all the pathogenic microorganisms that are embedded in the cementum. Once we remove the hard calculus deposits, the pathogenic biofilm, and the infected gingival tissues, the healing process will allow the attachment of healthy gingiva to the cementum and dentin of your root surface. Do you have any questions? Oh, Dr. Watts, I'm sorry, but I didn't understand anything. 